I'm uh, delighted to be here to officially announce a remarkable achievement, which you've already heard, of the investment portfolio of BSP, BSP Life, surpassing $1 billion. But I'd like to... Uh, say that uh, I have a rather checkered history in my association with uh, what we now know as BSP Life. BSP has taken uh, 145 years to achieve this milestone. And I think I was alive more than half of those years. But I've had an association of happy and one little unhappy association with Colonial Mitchell Life, which was started in 1876. I wasn't around then. As a Colonial Mutual Life Assurance Society of Australia. But when I was a young man, my father and I were covered by policies that we had uh, obtained from CMLA, as uh, it was known then. I also had some uh, business deals with uh, CML, as we knew it then. And my senior old boy, Tom Boetelogoni, was running the show then. And I uh, found myself in some campaign trouble. And my party then was uh, still the same as the party I now lead, had no money. <laughs> so I had to sell a house I had bought from uh, British Petroleum, Southwest Pacific. It's still there if you want to buy it back. I, didn't, I'm, I don't own it now. Well, number one, the OG Street in Tamavua. CML then uh, came around and uh, wanted to buy that from me. And I said, well, I'll sell it to you because I need the money now. But give me the right, the first right to refuse if you want to sell it. They didn't. <laughs> Later on in my uh, political life, we had some problems with uh, our national bank. So when I realized I uh, had to resolve the problem, I called my caucus together and I called the then chairman of the National Bank and asked him, Lionel, give us a background of this. I used some direct word there, problem that we're in. And he went through and he had about 90 minutes of briefing. 
Everybody was taking notes, listening, and I wasn't. At the end of it, they all asked questions. And uh, one of my, uh, in fact, his father asked me, Prime Minister, you haven't asked a question. I said, Lionel, we are in this pool. How do we get out of it? He said to me, Prime Minister, give me $200 million. I turned to the newly appointed Minister of Finance, the late Bernardo Bunbombo. Minister, give him $200 million. Anything else? Lionel said, no. Right, let's go. We went and faced that, that motion. We restructured the bank. Eventually, Colonial came in to buy part of it. Later on, BSP came to buy it. But I'm pleased to be here. Started with uh, being a policy holder in CMLA. Then uh, a property owner and CML bought that. Didn't give me my right to refuse the first. <laughs> but that's, uh, that's how life is. A few weeks ago, I was at uh, 90 to welcome our first uh, uh, new airline, new aircraft. I told the story about my trip to France to assess the uh, Airbus aircraft. I took with me a uh, pilot from uh, Air Pacific then. He went and uh, did a test flight lasted about two and a half hours, came down, and he said, uh, Prime Minister, let's buy it. I said, okay. We came back, and uh, those who were more, who know you knew more about the aircraft than the pilot, decided that we would go back to Boeing. And on that day, flying the aircraft home, called the Island of Mbanga, A350-900, was the son of the pilot I went with to France to, over, to uh, see that aircraft. And then uh, a few days later, as uh, Michael had mentioned, we did the uh, groundbreaking for the new hotel, the Vatu Tale Hotel, resort. No, no, it's a, it's a hotel. It will pro probably, it'll be the latest so far addition to our Denarau resorts. I told them the history of how we managed to get the 300 islands into one island, and we passed the Land Exchange Act in the uh, only boardroom that was available on Denarau at the time, which allowed the, develop the developers to reclaim the land and go into the Land Exchange Act with the landowners and state land. Now we have a beautiful island seven international brands. Now we're going to have our own brand there, the Vatu Tale. We are here to celebrate achievement. We're here to celebrate the culmination of uh, strategic decisions, not without its calculated risks, 
and a shared commitment to progress. This is the kind of commitment government won from the private sector for growth and prosperity in our country. And as we celebrate this milestone, the People's Coalition Government reaffirms its commitment to nurturing a business environment that, that is conducive to investment and economic growth. This afternoon after Cabinet, two gentlemen who are here today came to be part of a briefing team that briefed the Cabinet Subcommittee on the Economy, made up of uh, the Prime Minister and the three Deputy Prime Ministers. There were two there today. And we listened to them. And they told us, all these things will happen. You have to facilitate them. So the cooperation between the private sector and government is very, very important. I gave them my assurance that your government will foster an environment where the public and the private sector can thrive together, leveraging each other, each other's strength for the benefit of all the people, all Fijians. New investments mean more jobs, improved infrastructure, education, health care, and better standards of living. And I might add, quality of life. The People's Coalition government is determined to make meaningful changes to facilitate the approval and implementation of new investments, in particular, large capital projects like the one you are on, on Denaro. We have been through a very tough period. The world has been through a very difficult period, especially with the COVID-19 pandemic. It has taught us the need for greater collaboration. And I urge everyone here to work together to build a better Fiji. Collaboration brings diverse expertise. They bring resources and perspectives, creating an environment where innovation can flourish and challenges can be overcome. Through a robust public-private sector partnership, we can push the boundaries of innovation and propel our nation towards a brighter future. I strongly encourage collaboration within the private sector and a stronger partnership between our large institutions, including BSP Life, the Fiji National Provident Fund, Fijian Holdings, Itoke Trust Fund, and Unit Trust of Fiji. Together with our large commercial banks, including BSP, we can create a new, we can create new industries and diversify our economy. Through partnerships, you share the risk and also the reward. It's when you're receiving the reward that you, that you, you shake your hand and say, well, it was worth the risk. Tourism will remain the mainstay of our economy in the short and medium term, and its continued success is vital to our economy. However, to truly optimize our potential, we need to diversify our economic base. And the best way to achieve that is through strategic partnerships between large institutions, the private sector, with, of course, the support of government. Imagine a large renewable energy sector in 10 years' time, a large business outsourcing industry, an enhanced ICT industry, 
a large commercial agriculture industry, a vibrant retirement and aged care industry, a medical tourism hub, a large manufacturing and garment industry, all complementing the continued growth of tourism. That vision, ladies and gentlemen, is achievable and relies on your innovation or innovative collaboration. As Fiji grows, you grow, we grow, we all grow. We were given some encouraging figures recently. They're projecting about 8% growth in our economy this year. However, these two gentlemen who came in tonight put a little pin in the bubble and said, next year, it'll only be 3.8, unless we do something dramatic. And the following year, it'll go even down further down to 3%. So it's up to all of us to maintain that growth. We can all work together, and we can achieve it but only if we work together. BSP Life, through its uh, evolution over the many years, has become a part of the fabric of the Fiji society. BSP Life's investments span almost every facet of industry in our, life, in our country. They have contributed significantly to our economic developments and will continue to be a beacon for the future. I congratulate the entire BSP Life family and their loyal customers and partners, past, present, for this milestone achievement. On behalf of everyone here tonight, I wish BSP Life and the BSP Financial Group continued success. God bless you all. We now will live.